how does Christianity teach us to think better? Well, in Galatia, or Romans chapter 12, it says, don't think of yourself more highly than you are. Well, why would someone do that? Well, the problem of life is that we're all born with needs. And one of the great needs that we have is to prove ourselves. And so oftentimes what we'll do is we'll grab an idea and we'll only see those things that back up that idea. Uh, and this is all because of a need to want to prove ourselves, to want to be right. There's something out there that's just been discovered, but it's always been here, called the Dunning-Kruger effect, which proves that there's a lot of people in this life who overrate themselves. Just like Romans is saying that uh, oftentimes we can be very ignorant of a subject and act like we know. You know, you see this in politics, I think, all the time. You see it in economics. And I think it would be in part of every uh, type of judging that we can do with one another. The, the rule of the Dunning-Kruger effect is that if you're in it, you don't know you're in it. <laughs> Which is one of the great fallacies of God's trying to help people wake up to the reality of who they are. And how does God really do that? He does it through the gospel, the love and peace given through Jesus Christ. The fact that Jesus Christ went to that cross for us, that he, God loves us and accepts us. He gives us the righteousness of Christ. He forgives us our faults. And what that does is it eliminates this need to prove ourselves. It eliminates the need to want to take a point of view and only see the things that back up our point of view. It frees us in a sense, but it frees us for the better because then we become more open to growing and learning, understanding others. Our whole life becomes enriched. We think better. So I want to know what you think. I mean, have you seen the Dunning-Kruger effect perhaps working in your life where you overrate yourself or if you just want to look at Romans 12, it's right there. Uh, if uh, you've seen that in your own life, you know, let me know about it. Or if you see it in others, uh, put that down in the comments. And if this video has been helpful for you, you know, you can press like, subscribe, and follow. We put out two for the new for the curious every week. Um, if this issue on how does Christianity help us think better would help some of your friends on your friends list and you want to share, it could be a great gift in which God could use this passage and his love to help your friends grow. But in any case, as we say, Salam Allah fiat la paz de Dios en tu viaje. May God's peace be with you on your journey.